the seventh place, many Bible difficulties result from a minor error on the part of a copyist in the transmission of the text. In the Old Testament, such uh, transmissional errors may have resulted from an incorrect reading of similar appearing consonants. Hebrew was originally written in consonants only, and the vowel signs were not added until a thousand years later after the completion of the Old Testament canon. But there are also some consonants that are easily confused because they look so much alike. For example, the uh, letter for D is like this. It, uh, you have a stroke, a horizontal stroke, and then a vertical stroke, and a little hangover at the uh, uh, upper right corner. The letter for R looks rather similar, but you have actually a rounded corner. Uh, even to this day, when you read, hey, it's not coming through. So how do we do this? All right. Thank you. Uh, even to this day, when you read Israeli newspapers, you get the same problem. They will, uh, they they generally tend to use this, and they leave it to your intelligence to tell whether it's a D or an R. Of course, uh, they do uh, think up ways to make life hard in Israel, and this is one of them. Another uh, problem has to do with the similarity between a Y and a W. The Y is written like this. It's a, it's a vertical with a little curved thing at the top. Um, no, this is, this is the one that has a short, a short tail. So I'll try and get this shortened up here. And uh, the W has a longer tail. Well, now the problem is that particularly during the time of the Dead Sea Scrolls, say uh, in the uh, second century BC, the uh, the similarity was so great. Um, this then would be the typical Dead Sea Scroll uh, Y, and this would be the typical Dead Sea Scroll W. Well, you see, if the scribe was writing a little bit hastily, he might not have calculated to the correct millimeter the distinction between those two letters. And so um, we have to be alert to these factors in textual criticism.